But then these are the photos of your sister. Uh. This was Brianna's first Christmas. Is that the second Christmas? No, honey, she didn't have a second Christmas. At the time that they came to see me, I had an infant son who was just a few months old who was taking infants Tylenol. But for the grace of God, that could happen to me and my children. Tylenol is a medicine that some people give to their families to make them feel better. But it didn't. No, it didn't. It was about a week after Christmas. She started to have like a little bit of a cough. Her fever was at 102 and, and climbing. So we ended up at the ER. And he comes in and says that she has a virus. He then discharges us with, it looks like a prescription, but it's not a prescription. It's four Tylenol. Um, and it's three quarters of a teaspoon of Tylenol as needed. Uh, my mom questions, don't you think it's a little too much for a baby of five months? The doctor comes back with the three quarters scratched out and puts a teaspoon. And my mom looks at it and she's like, are you sure? And he's like, for her size and weight, our chart that we go off of says that this is how much we're supposed to give her. The difference between infant's Tylenol and children's Tylenol is the concentration level. At the time, infant's Tylenol had no warning whatsoever for children under the age of two. It essentially told you to contact a doctor. They did more than contact the doctor. They had gone to the emergency room at which point in time they were given the erroneous dosing instructions. She just wasn't alert or anything like that. She was just laying there breathing. Me and my dad took her to, back to the hospital. Dr. Ben comes in and she says, I figured it out. It's acetaminophen poisoning. She's been poisoned by Tylenol. Her liver is failing, her enzymes are high. Well, how does this happen? How did she get poisoned or whatever from medicine that's always given that we were told to give? Yeah. That's what you always see on TV, the commercials. It's a picture so, of the baby on the front of the box. It's nice, healthy, and happy. Seems like a and safe yeah. brand of medicine, and then everybody uses it. When she went into a coma, the doctor came in and said that her only chance of survival was to get her a new liver because her liver was gone. Eric's going down to see the baby, and he comes running back, and he says, Christina, there's a bunch of doctors there, and they won't let me in. And it just goes silent. It gets really quiet. And the priest and the preacher, and the doctors and the nurses, they walk in. They didn't have to say anything. We knew. We weren't supposed to leave without her. It wasn't supposed to end this way. As far as I was concerned, the buck stopped with the manufacturer of infants Tylenol. I knew as a lawyer going against a company like the manufacturer of Tylenol that it would be the fight of our lives. We had close to a two week trial. I don't know what to attribute the success to other than the case presented the perfect storm in terms of the facts, in terms of the law. The Hotos did exactly what the manufacturer told them to do and it still resulted in Brianna's death. That's almost indefensible. As her parents, you're supposed to know better. Your job is to protect your children. I know that she knows that she was supposed to come home. When taken as directed, acetaminophen is one of the safest over-the-counter medicines. 
When considering the safety of Tylenol, it's important to remember that all medicines have both benefits and risks. Doesn't matter whether it's an over-the-counter medicine or a prescription medicine, taking too much of any medicine can be harmful. We're committed to preventing acetaminophen overdose. Even one patient who takes an acetaminophen overdose is one too many. Our hearts go out to those who've overdosed and gotten sick and to the families and loved ones of those who've died.